a custom property is a piece of information uh, that can be added to a user or an app or a stream or a bunch of other things in ClickSense. Uh, now, I know that doesn't make much sense, uh, so let's go a bit deeper uh, to make it actually clear what custom properties are uh, and take a look at some examples of how you can use them. The best way I know how to explain custom properties is by looking at properties that are not custom. Uh, and yes, there are custom properties and non-custom properties. Uh, I don't think there's an official name for non-custom properties, so I'll call them uh, built-in properties. Um, let's take a look at these built-in properties to see how they're different from custom properties and that will make it clear why uh, we need custom properties so here's a user and uh, what is a user well it's just an item uh, that is meant to represent a human right this particular user item is meant to represent uh, me and uh, this one is meant to represent uh, my dog <laughs> and uh, yes my dog has a, a clicksense license he's uh, fancy <laughs> uh, now if i click the edit button to make uh, to take a closer look at this user uh, you'll see that uh, there's this thing called name um, that's a user property uh, more specifically that's a built-in user property uh, it's already there. Um, the name property helps us to know which human this user item is meant to represent. Uh, there's also a user directory, a user ID, um, delete prohibited. Um, all these things are built-in uh, properties of a user. Uh, they're just default set of information that Click decided should be available on all users. Uh, but what if we need to add some other piece of information about the user? Like, for example, uh, it, would be, it would be pretty nice if there was like apps property that you could use to specify which apps user can access in the hub. Or how about publish to streams property that you can use to specify which streams a user can publish apps to. Mm -hmm. um, those would be quite handy. Uh, with those properties available, you could just bring up a user profile and instantly see um, and know which apps a user has access to and uh, which streams a user can publish apps to. Uh, but we don't have those properties. We only have name, user directory, user ID, and a few other properties. That's where custom properties come in. Now, custom properties simply allow you and me to add whatever other information that we want to add to a user or an app or a stream. And uh, here are some examples of custom properties that I've created for users uh, on my server. Um, this one, for example, controls uh, which apps a user can see in the hub. And uh, this one controls which uh, content libraries a user can manage. Uh, this one controls which streams a user can publish apps to. Uh, all these functionalities and controls can be built because we have custom properties. Uh, and by the way, uh, if I go to app section and bring up an app, uh, you can see that apps also have built-in properties um, and they have custom properties. So custom properties can be applied to several things, uh, but the idea behind them is to add some information about a user or app or whatever else um, to add an information that isn't already available. Uh, all with the goal to enable you and me to customize and expand what we can do with our ClickSense servers. So that's what custom properties are. Come back tomorrow for another video where I'll show how to create and how to use custom properties to, for example, set up this functionality 
that allows us to control um, which user can publish uh, apps to which stream. I'll see you then.